I just parked downtown. I'm about to get out and walk a couple blocks to go to my consultation to get my lips done. Just regular filler. Um, I'm excited. I've thought about this for like over a year. If you haven't noticed, I literally have no lips, which is fine, but it is an insecurity. So I thought for my birthday, maybe we do it. You know, it's quick, it's not very invasive, it's literally dissolvable. So I'm gonna go learn about it and talk and be consulted and I'm so excited. I'm like super early, which I'm always early, especially when I'm nervous for something. It's just a consultation, like I shouldn't be nervous, but like I'm always early when I'm nervous cause like I need time to calm down. <laughs> So I just got out. Literally, she was so nice. I walked in, the place was adorable. I got there early and she was ready like so fast too. But anyways, she was like so knowledgeable. I felt so comfortable. When I walked in, they offered me chlorophyll water. I was like, wow, this just feels right. I don't know, it was just kind of funny. We like talked a lot, I asked questions. Like, I just feel very confident. They're actually running a promotion this weekend and there's like secret deals, like nobody knows that they are, but they might have a syringe deal and that would be awesome in my town one full syringe there is seven hundred dollars and i think that's like pretty normal but if i could get it on sale that would be pretty cool like i think it's meant to be i literally made the consultation the week before they're running a huge promo like daily deals and i didn't know that is this a sign it's a sign she said i have a good like shape which i agree my bottom is like a little lopsided but my top like I have like a pretty good shape. I really just want the volume just kind of like enhancing like just some volume like it just feels appropriate and I'm excited. Ah! I'm so excited. I told her it was like a present to me for my birthday. So my appointment is tomorrow. My appointment is the 25th. I like sound sick right now. I hope I'm not getting sick. I did just wake up so like that could be part of it. So I definitely woke up sick that day. I was just very much in denial. I went to the grocery store. I bought all the fruits and nutritious foods and I was like, you know, what can fix me? What can help me? I don't want to develop this cold. I had lots of vitamin C, lots of fluids, went to bed super early and I was like, let's just see how tomorrow is. I woke up Thursday, which was the day of my appointment and I was like, bro, I just know. I just know I'm not gonna be able to go today. So I called them to make sure and my injection did say that if you're feeling at all under the weather you should not be injected so we did have to reschedule which brings us to Friday June 9th the day before my newly rescheduled lip filler appointment Stopping at Duncan, what can I get for you? hi I have a mobile order for Morgan hi Morgan pull forward. thank you it's Friday June 9th the day before my appointment and I am so excited I am someone who wakes up and wants coffee like my eyes open and I'm like I need it now, whatever. However, it's not the best idea to have caffeine before your appointment. I think typically people just cut it out the day of, but I was like, you know what? I'll cut it out the day before as well. Just trying to set myself up for success. So I actually just ran a Dunkin' because I still really wanted the taste and to drink coffee, so I got a decaf. And I still wanna be able to make like my protein coffee that I make every morning, because I also don't wanna miss out on protein. So I'm just gonna mix this in with a little milk I just heated up and it will just act as my coffee creamer because I don't have any like decaf Nespresso pods or anything. So hopefully this is good. I'm sure it won't be as good as like my regular coffee, but that's fine. And I got a large so I can have the rest tomorrow. Not bad, does what I needed to do. So a couple other things, you're not supposed to take any like blood thinning medication unless it's prescribed, of course. Advil, ibuprofen, whatever. I haven't taken any of that all week. I don't like regularly take any medication, so that's not really a worry. And I haven't had any like headaches or anything where I'm like, oh, I just need ibuprofen, whatever. Also, it is Friday night, but I'm not gonna like go out or anything tonight because you're not supposed to have alcohol 24 hours before your appointment, so I won't be doing that. Oh, which is totally fine. You can purchase Arnica tablets, which you take by mouth which are supposed to help reduce the swelling. You take them like two to three days before your appointment. I kept meaning to go get them all week and I just kept forgetting, pushing it off, whatever, and so I didn't. I am just someone who personally bruises so easily, so I was like, you know, the Arnica tablets might actually help me. You don't have to take them. I should have done it, but I didn't, so we'll see how bad it is for me. One more thing to note, actually, so because I had to reschedule my appointment and, you know, I obviously wanted to get in, like, ASAP, I'm actually with a different person that I originally was with and who I originally was with, I did a consultation with. I very much trust like all the people there, like I'm not worried about it. However, I actually have not met my injector. So that is what happened, but that's totally fine. I just, I really wanted to get in. I really wanted to and they book up so fast. I'm excited, I'm definitely a little nervous just because of the pain, I feel like everyone has such mixed reviews. I have a very average pain tolerance, I would say. <laughs> I can't believe it's tomorrow. 
Today's the day I'm getting ready and I'm eating a little grilled cheese chicken pita bread sandwich so that I don't pass out. My consultation, I was running so early and I'm afraid that I'm like running late right now. Some liquid IV, vitamin C. We're on the way. Okay, 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 okay. Let's go, let's go, let's go. Surprisingly, I haven't been nervous all day. I just parked downtown and I have to walk there, which I had to take a detour. The road that normally turned down was closed. And I'm like downtown, so like parking is like a whole different story. So I was so nervous, but I parked at a two hour spot, which should be totally fine because my appointment's an hour and a half. No, ah, I can't believe I'm here. I'm like, I can't decide if I'm nervous, to be honest. I have 20 minutes to get there, which I'm way closer than 20 minute walk. Let me just chug that real quick. However, I have to get out, pay for parking, and it's always good to be early. I should take some before photos. I can't believe today's the day. Walking there as we speak. Feeling good, feeling great. I was kissing you with my eyes open. I got there and we talked a little bit just redefining my goals making sure we had a good game plan and then they put a topical numbing cream on which does have to sit for 20 minutes it did get a little bit in my mouth like which was totally my fault but so my tongue did get a little bit numb it works really well though like I couldn't tell if I was drooling or not at some point so she did my top lip first and this is actually her doing the bottom she raised me up just a little bit to do the bottom for the top lip I was laying completely flat I just didn't record any of the top. So just go by clean. They're looking bomb. Beauty's pain. I know. <laughs> <laughs> Worth it for sure. Yes. I honestly wasn't sure if the pain was going to be same in a top versus bottom. But honestly, I think bottom hurt a little bit more just because... Since bottom was done second, I feel like the numbing cream did start to wear off towards the end of my appointment. However, I feel like top lip is a little bit more sensitive. And as you see, I was holding a stress ball in one hand and then I had this tool that I was like holding up to my chin that vibrated. It's just kind of supposed to soothe you, keep you a little bit distracted. And I totally did squeeze the stress ball because some little punctures did hurt a little bit more than others. You're doing awesome. Usually the bottom goes by a little bit faster. The top oh. is a lot of like more okay. precision. Okay. So <laughs> that's good to hear. You're doing great. Okay. <laughs> you can see here I was literally squeezing the stress ball to the beat of the music that was playing in the building because it was getting towards the end of the appointment. So it started to hurt. I was just like so ready for it to be done at this point, but obviously it was tolerable. I was happy that I was there, happy that I was doing it, but just could not wait for it to be done. My appointment took a total of just under an hour and a half, and I want to say the needle portion was about half that time, so maybe around 40 minutes of the actual injection. Keep in mind, it's not just like one injection and then all the stuff comes out, you know, they have to strategically place it. So it's a lot of like in and outs and, you know, whatever they do to adjust it and whatnot. I don't know the actual technique, but just keep that part in mind. Beautiful. So at home, starting on Monday, so 48 hours after, I want you to roll out your lips. So I'm sending you home with a Q-tip and Vaseline. You'll put one finger above that lip. For the top lip, I want you rolling up towards the cupid's bow. Mm -hmm. Again, not starting for 48 hours because I am rolling like pretty hard, okay? Yeah. okay? So we want that to integrate all beautifully. That too, as you can see, that's where that swelling comes from because my finger holds that lip okay. like that even when I was injecting. Mm -hmm. So rolling up towards the cupid's bow. If you have any lumps and bumps in the first few weeks, that's normal. Mm -hmm. So the rolling is going to help with that. Bottom lip, again, you have that depression. You can roll out from it okay. or into it. Oh, yeah. Okay. Same both ways. Uh -huh. So realistically, on Monday, you can return to everything. Okay. Meaning working out, rolling, mm -hmm. all that kind of thing. And stuff. tomorrow, I'll cap fine. Yep. Okay. Absolutely. <laughs> okay. Post-treatment care kit. Lip filler, mm -hmm. post-treatment. So that Arnica tablet can be taken, which is right here under the okay. tongue, Q4 hours. This is an Arnica gel. Both of these help with bruising. Mm -hmm. And then Q-tips and Vaseline for rolling starting on Monday. And then other things it just talks about is full healing time may take up to that full four weeks. Mm -hmm. Small lumps, bumps, all that kind of stuff is normal. And then I know you have me on Instagram, so you can reach out if you have any questions, comments, concerns. I like don't want to move my mouth. Like I fully can, but I like I like don't want to. <laughs> it looks so good, but I'm still like kind of numb and it kind of like feels weird, like kind of painful. I don't know. We'll talk in a little bit. I'm not ready to talk now. <laughs> I'm very happy with it. I'm very happy with it, but I'm just like feeling weird. I'm like, I, I need to sit still and just like 
not do anything. I'm just like weird like that though. Like after I got my tattoo, I was like, I can't move. Like I just can't. I just it's like 5.30, it's been like two hours since I got out of my appointment and I'm already starting to bruise. Like all here, all here, I have a scab here. Overall, I honestly really do love the plumpness. The shape is like really good. I'm just so ready for like the swelling and bruising to go away. It's like barely even started. They also just kind of feel weird. I don't want to like move a ton as I might like look weird while I'm talking because like I just like, I don't know, I, I can move. I said to her, I was like, do I have to be as gentle as I like feel like I should be? She's like, no, you can move, you can eat, you can talk, whatever. Just like try to avoid straws for a little bit. No sucking, whatever. But I just like feel the need to be like super, super gentle. She sent me home with this little goodie bag. It has instructions. I have some Arnica tablets that are supposed to help with the swelling and the bruising. I already took one, I'll take another one today and then probably like two tomorrow. I got some Vaseline, some Arnica gel as well. And I think this is probably a little lip scrub, so I won't use this for a while. I'll probably start putting the Arnica gel on tomorrow just cause I don't really wanna touch anything. And then on days three to four, she taught me I'm supposed to kind of like roll my lips out because they can clump a little. So I have these big Q-tips, just the Vaseline. You kind of like press on them really hard. They do like hurt a little, like they are kind of tender, a little like, sensitive. I'm just excited. I'm just excited for the final result, honestly. Like, it's so worth it. I do not regret it for one second. The pain. Okay, so I heard so many people have, like, mixed, you know, feelings on the pain, which, of course, is different for everyone, but so the numbing cream definitely, like, numb me a ton. Like, there was a point where I'm like, I don't know if I'm drooling. Like, I don't know if my lips are touching right now. Like, it definitely numbed a lot, and so she starts with the top lip. She did this side first, and then this side, and then did the bottom, and I will say, by the end of it, I feel like the numbing kind of like wore off a little bit. And like the whole time, I could feel a pinch. You know, like you know a needle's going into you. It's not like you can't feel it at all. It was definitely tolerable and worth it. It dissolves around like nine months or so. I mean, it wasn't like a fun <laughs> experience. I mean, the overall thing was great, but like the actual needle, it's not like that was fun. You know, like I didn't like like the needle going in me, but it was tolerable. They give you, as you saw, like a stress ball and that little thing that I was holding like near my face that like vibrates and stuff. So I'm excited. Like I just, I love this. Like this is a new me. I just, oh. I'm just I'm I'm so excited like I just love them already even though I'm like oh I just can't wait for the swelling to go away and I kind of have like a stash a mustache right here but that will go down as well it kind of hurts to like try to smile all the way too ah, I'm just excited though but I'm gonna update you so you can see how the bruising goes and the swelling and all of that and we'll see like the size that they end up being they say that if you like the size like the day of you're gonna like want more which is a problem because i feel like i like the size they are now like i don't really want them to get much smaller but they probably will they're also really dark color like i feel like my lips are usually a pretty light color and it might be just because it's reacting and like whatever who knows but i'll see you tomorrow it has been a full day just over 24 hours and this is the saddest. Obviously there's bruising. I do look a little peely, but that's just because I put Arnica gel on it so it like looks peely, but it's not actually like my skin or anything. You can definitely tell the filler stash is going down, which that was like something I was afraid of. I was like, I do not want that forever, but she did assure me that will go away. So that is going down, but I low key missed some of the volume I had yesterday. <laughs> they are like a little sore almost. And I can kind of feel like I feel them clumping, but that's normal. I'll like roll them out and stuff in two days. But here's today. I will see you tomorrow. It's been about two weeks. It is 15 days after I had my appointment and I'm so happy. They look so good. I feel like this is exactly what I wanted. I'm just, I am so happy about them. The bruising lasted a while. I still do have a little bit of bumps kind of on the outer edges. I have been rolling them. They are making their way out, but they're just very, very faint. And it's nothing that anyone else would notice, but it's something that I notice. When I smile, you can see the one on this outer corner just a little bit. It is decreasing by the day, but it is kind of stubborn, and I'm not surprised. She said really up to four weeks you can have any sort of lumps and bumps, but it is at a very minimal amount right now. One thing I thought was weird, it took me a long time for this motion, literally just like rubbing my lips together to feel normal. Like in the beginning, I was like less aware of where everything was. I don't know, it was just kind of weird. But right now there's like no pain, everything feels good. I finally like my open teeth smile. I did not like it for a long time just because I feel like my top lip does look a little bumpy when it's stretched out like that. But again, those are working themselves out. I seriously like do not regret this one second. Honestly, kind of wish I got it. Like, 
like a long time ago because I'm so happy about it. But here we are. If you are in the area, Wisconsin, Madison, even Milwaukee area, and you are looking for a place, I seriously loved going to La Marie Beauty. The environment there, the people there, everything is so great. And I was with Elena and I seriously loved her. She was so personable, very knowledgeable, like everything was just great. She literally DM me on Instagram like the day after or two days later or whatever and checked in on me like those little things just really mean so much and I'm so happy with my experience and when it is time for touch-ups I would love to be going right back to her. I will tag her Instagram the La Marie Beauty website and everything in the description box of course. I think I can refer you and you can get a little bit of money off if so I'll leave that information below. This isn't like sponsored or anything but they do have a referral program for anyone that goes there. But yeah what do you think? I just, I, I'm literally so happy. Like, I just, I'm so happy. It's like a new confidence unlocked, and I ah! highly recommend. So happy with my two week update. I guess this is kind of the final result. Kind of not, like I said, it can take up to four weeks, but I feel like they're not gonna change much from here. If anything, they'll just smoothen out a little bit. So yeah, I don't have any gloss or any lipstick or anything on, just literally Vaseline and Aquaphor, both actually, so it's all clear. If you have any questions, I would love to answer them in the comments. I had such a great experience, and I'm just so happy. Thank you so much for watching. Please subscribe if you have not, and I'll see you in my next one.